Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to grow Rubecchia from bare root. Now, normally Rubecchia is grown as an annual plant. So when I saw it in a shop as a bare root, I thought, hmm, let me give this a go. But to make this video more interesting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow this Rebecca from bare root. But at the same time, I'm also going to grow Rebecca from seed. And then we're going to do a side by side comparison. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can follow the progress all the way through summer. Let's go get straight into it. Now, the very first step is to hydrate our roots. So I just grabbed one of my ratchet containers, filled it with some water and <laughs> What in tarnation is this? Just look at it. Already I have doubts about this. But you know what? I'm going to stick with it. So I'm going to leave it in the water to soak and see how it goes. Now I do have another pack so let's have a look at this one. Now that tap root is a bit thicker so I can see this one doing a little bit better. In this pot I've got a mixture of compost and sand and that should really help the taproot but if you've only got compost to hand that will do just fine. Now I've left them to soak for about an hour. Ugh, I am still suspect about this one but we're gonna give it a go. Now to plant it you just need to make a hole in the compost and then plant it roots down then backfill the soil and then leave the crown above the soil. Then give the pot a good watering. Don't forget to give write yourself a label so you know exactly what you planted. I am really trying to keep on top of my labeling this year. Look at these flowers, they look so pretty. These will be the ones that we're growing from seed. Look at how tiny the seeds are. Now, I'm really quite liberal when it comes to my seed sowing, so I'm just going to sprinkle the seeds all over the tray and then later on I'll prick them out. Then I'm going to cover the seeds with a really, really light dusting of compost. Unfortunately, I wasn't starting off with moist soil, so then what I'm going to do is give the tray a good old water but be careful not to wash away the seeds. If you are doing this at home, I'd make sure that your compost is moist before you sow the seeds and then just top them off with some compost. This way you make sure that your seeds don't get washed away or that they don't get washed all into the same area on the tray. And once again, don't forget to get your labels done. Then all you need to do is cover your tray. Now I'm just using cling film if you've got a propagating lid, use that. This will keep the humidity in the tray. It means that you have to water less often. Once you're done, place your seed tray on a really sunny windowsill and then your seeds should germinate in around about 10 to 15 days. Right, so that's these guys in. Now I'm going to keep you updated all summer to see how they get along. If you're interested, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and if you enjoyed this, give this video a like. Hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. See you again soon. Bye.